we bought this place about 23 years ago and we wanted to get out of the city be in the countryside so we bought the lot and we went to buy this house i mean if you have a car you say i don't want it give it to me i'll fix it i sell it or i buy it cheap mm -hmm. put some money in there and sell it okay, cool. that's the way i support myself and all these letters is saying that my place is bothering my neighbor okay and you can witness how many neighbors i have over here the <laughs> only neighbors that i have over here is a snake jack rabbits turtles and birds <laughs> those are my neighbors around here i, I live alone okay uh, there is nobody around me i talked to oscar gomez and Aster Gomez called me back again and told me that they supposed to be working with me, okay? Trying to fix things. And I told them, well, uh, apparently they're not doing that. They are telling me that I had to leave the place or they're gonna call, come over here with a bulldozer to destroy everything and take it down. A younger person that has all his life in front of them can go and get a permit and make a will for $85,000 or more and build a house and have a, a nice property. But at the age that we are, it would be starting over. Twenty-five years later, where have you been for twenty-five mm -hmm. years? The house has been there. They know I've been there. I made that permit application, in and we always paid the taxes, so they knew. I feel that for the rest of our life, we deserve to have some peace and quiet and serenity. When I lived in uh, Canyon Country, I had a couple of my. Uh, cars vandalized. It was because the gang members moved in uh, on the White's Canyon. I figured being out here in the country, the dirt road, being the last house on the dirt road, uh, I shouldn't have any uh, problems with gang members. But they says, hey, uh, you better move the building or you're in trouble. So I, I moved it. That's a, a, a private street. Mm -hmm. That's not even a county street. They had no authority to tell me to move yeah. it. I had to uh, get all the cars currently registered and with uh, with historical vehicle plates. That's not normal. It cost me two thousand five hundred dollars in permits, and to get the uh, the classic car permit registered, uh, it cost me uh, ninety three dollars. This is my own property. I mean, I can't park yeah. my own cars on it. They can go to any home in America and find a violation. That outlet's uh, 45 inches uh, above the floor bit. It's supposed to be between 32 and 40. The doorway into the hall to the back bedroom is only 30 inches. It's supposed to be 36 for wheelchair access. Bam, bam, bam. We, we could talk about that all day. They do all kinds of insidious things. I, I, can't, I couldn't make up the horrible things they do. We started out with 14 people that five years ago that we were going to band together and support each other. Most of them have left the state. They've left the state broke, destitute, and with no property because the county took it.